all right so in today's video we will actually see how we can build the full in bit core ourselves and use it for some practical purposes so before that let me clear two things the first thing is like who is our target audience so uh, we are assuming that you already have some kind of idea what actually pull in bit does and how it works so what are the plugin structures and now you are planning to build the pull in bit core yourself but having some difficulties like you don't know actually how to start from where to start so what should the, should be the path if you want to build it and utilize it okay so we will give you some guidance like okay how can we build the full in bit core for the first time and make some senses and the second thing is like uh, let me clear you like what actually you will get from this video tutorial uh, two things you will get the first thing is like okay how we can build the full in bit source and use it with some default config and the second thing which is the most important thing of this video like how you can build actually a logger file yourself and use that logger file uh, to populate some logs and see maybe using some kind of out plugins for pulling bit for this tutorial we'll just keep it simple and we'll utilize the standard output which is like std or ut output plugin files okay so let's uh dive into our demo part and copy our code first to some directory say for example key then create the code here okay we are done so we got our code ct blend it okay let's see our guidance like okay if you go down here on the fluent bit documentation on their readme file they have like clear guidance here quick start so what we need to do to build the fluent bit source just we need to go to the build folder then see make then make that's all and we are good to go okay cd build cmake okay it seems like everything is working let's wait for a couple of minutes okay we are done yeah we are good to go then the next command is make let's build it all right it should take a couple of minutes so as i know and maybe we are almost done yeah we are done okay so now we build our full in bit core and let's use it with some default config what we can do so to run our full in bit bin full in bit then let's use some input hyphen i input so which input plugin we can use we can use the cpu input plugin which will give us the cpu matrix and we can use the output so the output plugin we can use maybe the default the standard output that's all and we can also set the flash timeout like okay so after how long we want to flash our data so maybe one second is fine yeah let's go for it and see what happens okay all right okay so i just first close it let's see so here how we did actually we got our source from github then we built it and we are running our full and bit using some default configuration options so we use the input plugin cpu input plugin which is actually giving us some cpu stats and using the standard output uh, which is actually helping us to print the output here so that we can see and the flash time is like one second so which is good and this is all about running some default configuration now i will show you something uh, which are not default so how we can use uh, our custom logger file so for showing this i am assuming like you have some idea with like uh, docker and docker file so let's build one of our custom c applications which will just print out some logs and we will uh, try to see those logs using our standard output in bit plugin okay so let's create something okay so here we can create uh, a folder like c app okay 
let's go so let's create a c application simple so main.c and dot a is integer main integer i for within this loop let's print some stuff here print the number here that's all say this is our logger app which is a simple c application uh, i did over a loop 10 times and we'll print some numbers that's all now let's create a docker file okay from gcc 4.9 maybe what you can do you can copy all of our stuff from this directory to user source then my app then we can what is uh, source my app okay and then run this is c minus o and main dot c okay i am guessing like you have some default idea how actually our docker file works we are just running the c file docker is our c sample applications okay and then we can run the command uh, which is as simple as running a c application here we got our docker application all right so everything is ready okay so let's utilize another terminal say so for example from this terminal where are we mm -hmm. So we can move to our green bit then build. Okay. And from here we can again try to build our source if we want. Everything looks fine. And let's now uh, create a config file. Okay. This time we will use a configuration file to run our green bit. Okay. It will be config test.config okay let's uh, write some config file here i am just uh, copy pasting some of my previously written configuration here so what we are doing here the service so um, uh, flash time is like five seconds and daemon is off log level debug and for the input and output this is the configuration option for our input plugins and this is the configuration option section for our output plugins okay uh, so the input plugin we are using the default uh, forward one and uh, which is listening to the a default so ip and port so 24224 and the output plugin we are using is like std out our standard output and its matching rule is everything so uh, to understand more about these steps i would uh, recommend you to reading the um, configuration options of our full in bit core okay then you will get a good idea about like okay all the fields what they are doing here okay let's save our file our configuration is ready okay so everything is good okay now let's run our fluent bit being fluent bit and the configuration file we are going to use hyphen c then we'll put the name of our config file with a stroke so how does the config file name flp config test and that's all let's run it okay so full and bit started and the engine is started it's listening and waiting for our responses let's go to our another terminal from where we will actually populate our logs so we can utilize this where are we hmm. okay we have our c application which is just writing some streams and here is our docker file okay so how we can build our docker file okay to build our docker file let's run the command uh, docker build then we can put a tag which is like okay c docker app and the current directory it should read from okay we successfully built our image and let's run this image okay so how we can run it to secret docker run then remove the image after using and the important thing we can set our log driver here with this dockerized application how we can set the log driver so hyphen hyphen log driver is equal to t and we can put a name here if you want name is equal to say for example we can keep a name to our container 
our sequent bit that's all and what is our uh, image name we can just put here this is our image name that's all we are good to go let's see oh okay so i believe we have some issues with our c application let's check oh okay here we missed something okay new line then save our application again then build the image again then run it okay okay so we just print like okay zero one two three four nine and let's check our another terminal what happened okay you see we got some log messages here okay what's happening here log is equal to zero then container id this container name this mm, container id this container name this and log is equal to four log is equal to two and log is equal to three then log is equal to five six seven eight nine okay did you see okay let's run it again what happens okay yeah we got some log again again run your logger application here yeah we got some log again yes we got some log message again so this is the basic actually how we can build a full bit uh, image ourselves and test with our custom logger application that's all this is actually the beginning i just try to help the beginner level developers who are having actually difficulties to build it and to play with our full bit core in our next video tutorials i will try to show the step by step how we can build our amazon specific fluent bit output plugins like kinesis steam kinesis firewalls and cloudwatch stay tuned